Hi there, this is Flor from Past Life Therapy and Healing. And today I will make a video to talk about twin flame. To be honest, being, uh, well, it's been already 10 years that I have been working as a past life therapist. And I'm a specialized in incarnated angels, star seeds, Lemurians, Pleiadians. Um, I'm very specialized on that field. Um, it took me 10 years to be specialized in that field. That's why sometimes I don't understand how some people in YouTube or Instagram, they talk and they know everything. <laughs> I don't know how to do. I do channel the Akashic Records. I speak with my guides. I speak with Ascended Masters and Archangels. And still, they don't tell me everything. Basically, because the message that I'm getting all the time saying that we need to live our own experience. It's not about someone telling us all the answers because otherwise we wouldn't be here. When we talk about spirituality, and that's the learning I had uh, in my own journey, when we talk about this is for living our life um, with the expanded consciousness, but still living our life. And I say this because Many people um, that I know, people who also channel information, Akashic Records, they do healing. Many of, of, of um, even myself sometimes, I found myself um, trying to know the answers of everything, even meeting a person and double checking first with my guides or opening the Akasha to check who's that person. Should I open a heart? Should I trust the person? And actually this uh, path is not about checking everything. This is not like playing a game and then, you know, checking like in my time in the nineties, we had magazines. So <laughs> every time you, for example, you pray Mortal Kombat and then you have the magazine and you know exactly what bottom to touch in order to um, do the fatality and then kill you know your your enemy faster and me but why are you playing mortal kombat if you know you want to know you're gonna win it's not no point to play mortal kombat if you know you will win the excitement of the game is actually to play and see what happens and play once and again sometimes you win sometimes you lose that's how it is and so this is similar right like human life is like that if we get came here the rules for the game were forgetting everything when we were born um and this is perfect this is how we ha it has to be that's why every time i have a client for past life regression i i will tell them look like i help you with this tool doesn't matter how much I have learned in this life, doesn't matter all my knowledge, your guides and your higher self knows better what uh, past lives you need to visit, what are the things you need to uh, learn and know about your past lives. You don't have to know everything because so many past lives, right? You need to focus on the present. So let's see what they say. So that's why I work in a team with uh, guides and angels. Um, this is the same in the journey of the twin flame, at least from my perspective. Uh, and I was telling, yeah, like sometimes people like me, what they do is trying to know everything and then um, find a shorter path to, and somehow easier. Actually, nothing is really easier, but sometimes even trying to not feel much to avoid pain. And we need to go through the pain because the pain is our master. It's not about trying to avoid the pain. It's about trying to not create more pain. 
which is different than avoiding the pain. If you know the pain is there, we need to face it, right? Because there's a learning behind it. And I remember once um, talking with a, a colleague of mine, also my friend, and we were channeling the Akasha and we were talking about people. He was like, oh, okay, this person is not important because this person is a soulmate. So don't focus on, on him or her, just focus on your twin flame that's coming after. And I started, hmm, this is not the message I want to, to share with people. Why is more important the twin flame than a soulmate? If at the end we are all one, if at the end we are all God, we all come from the source. So this is my perspective about the twin plane journey. And um, for me, at least in my field, which I am a specialized, which is our, uh, incarnated angels and Lemurians in the awakening process of remembering the memories from Lemuria. Mm -hmm. So um, for that kind of people, and I'm not sure if we go all through the same path, I don't think so. I don't think so because my life is very different than many of my friends and many of my family members. So I don't think we all have the same you know, path. And that's another, another key point about Many people talk about awakening symptoms. But they are not awakening symptoms. Because this is an expansion of consciousness. And we all are different. We all will go through different processes. So it's not like a common thing. There are a few things you will be like, oh yeah, this happened to me or this, but nothing the same. It shouldn't be like that. This is like having a baby, you know? It's not a way to have a baby. Some women get pregnant and have certain emotions, feelings, and the body will feel in a certain way, and their relationship with the partner will be in one way or another. Another woman will have totally different experience. Mm -hmm. So saying this is the symptoms of, or this is what's going to happen, or this is how your relationship will become after having a baby, that's too much Pisces. That's all is cool. That's the old paradigm where everything has um, a rule. You know, everything is, uh, is, is like seen under a structure, but linear structure. You know, it's like you you do this. This is what happens. You know, and follow the leader because she knows or he knows. And then I find many life workers being the leader, telling everyone what to do. <laughs> that's not Aquarius. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know there are so many beautiful light workers out there, like helping a lot and they say beautiful things, but I don't think it's, this is the time for following someone. Just people is here to give us tools. And that's why I'm here making this video to give you a tool. And when it um, concerns the twin flame, uh, first of all, for me, uh, meeting the twin flame for Lemurians and incarnated angels means an opportunity to, first of all, mirror yourself and see your own darkness. Why? Everybody has darkness, for sure, everybody does, yeah. But incarnated angels in 2020 need to awaken and awaken the mission. They, they brought here. So until they don't face all the shadows in their consciousness, all that darkness, um, they won't be able to accomplish their mission or at least manifest the path that they came to this incarnation to transit because they're still dealing with um, human things, karma and um, belief system, the matrix, some people call it the matrix, and conditioning thoughts and ideas. So they really need to see the darkness, to transcend it. 
So the twin flame, as far as I know, through my what I see through my clients and in my own experience as well, is bringing you the challenge for you to see your own darkness and work on it. Because the twin flame is us in another consciousness, another lifestyle, another body. So be careful of not falling into a narcissistic uh, behavior. Because you don't want to be with your twin flame, I believe, because it's the same as you and the rest of the world. It's not, an, it's not important anymore. It's, that perspective is weird. I know that could be the feeling because we are still ruled by our ego. So we are right. So I want someone right like me. <laughs> That's the still Pisces. <laughs> we are here and um, eventually it will be good to do what we came here to do. Because uh, in heaven, we are already reunited. It's no separation and not even heaven. Forget about heaven. Just think about the 5D or the 6D. It's no separation. So what's the point of reunion if we are all, all the time together? Uh-huh. The key of reunion is meeting in the 3D and then seeing in that mirror all the things that you still have in work on yourself. Because that person comes to your life to put your universe upside, upside down. When your universe gets upside down, the only thing that will stay um, strong in you is the real thing, is the truth. The rest of the things that are not meaningful anymore because that person triggers you to the point that you may reflect about all the decisions that you took in your life. Where to live, what to study, what kind of friends you want to hang out with, um, what do you think about age, what do you think about your physical body, what do you think about sex, what do you think about family, relationship, um, what kind of things you will allow yourself, um, many things that perhaps you find yourself before you met your twin flame saying, no, I will never forgive this. This is too wrong. So if someone do this, I will never forgive him or her. And then you meet your twin flame and then you don't feel like, like that anymore. And you think, oh, well, yeah, I'm more flexible now. <laughs> Uh, there are so many things that will change and this is important because the love that you will develop for your twin flame will help you to another key point which is transform your paradigm and when you transform your own paradigm you will anchor that reality in this world because as more you transform yourself you the more are transforming this world so when I read those uh, things, articles or videos about the runner, the chaser or whatever, I'm like, anyways, that may happen. Don't take me wrong. That could be like not that evolved consciousness, right? Because again, I'm talking about incarnated angels, Pleiadians, Lemurians, people who came to earth to do big things, not to, to find one person and you know just that um stay there forever and trying to make it last forever which you won't be able to make last forever because someone will pass away <laughs> of them and then life and what's next so nothing will stay the same forever so that's why i think it's very important to see it really as a journey awakening journey right and sorry as, as an awakening journey also i think it's uh very important to 
rethink about what love means to you and what kind of partner do you need for this life and when you can't uh, be with your twin flame physically maybe you may develop a relationship in the 5d or the 6d is that possible not possible is that a new kind of uh, humanity that we are bringing to earth the possibility to love someone who you cannot possess can you love someone that you cannot possess someone who's totally out of your control can you still love that person can you still have a relationship with someone that doesn't belong to you at all it's very interesting on learning that the twin flame bring to us and again um i also believe that all the triggers that the the twin flame bring to survey are things that mm, they they are there they won't diminish because we are having a 3d relationship with uh, the twin flame i think those things that arise are things the universe is showing you that you really need to heal in yourself so for example if you feel the abandonment and that's very normal for the moodians because um we experience abandonment for so many lives right and commencing in lemuria and we came to earth to transcend that and we spent so many lives feeling abandonment um for example myself one of the feeling of abandonment very alive into my energy field still you know in this life was when i was in uh, the, the second world war and i lost my family there and i felt very alone and i met someone um another nurse i was a nurse in there like i become a nurse to find my family but i couldn't find them but i found a friend of mine she took me from germany she invited me to move to austria and i haven't had any more family members there but i learned to love as a family member someone who is a stranger not only that but also invest all my love the love that i had for my partner or for my potential children that i haven't had because my partner went to war and never never returned so i had all that love in there and instead of grieving forever i just took it and transformed it in a profession so i was working in a psychiatric hospital until the nazis <laughs> came to kill us <laughs> but anyways um <laughs> But the, the feeling of abandonment was a feeling into my heart, into my energy field. And twin flame triggered that, that feeling of abandonment. And instead of think, blaming him and thinking, oh, I, if he will be here, I, will, I wouldn't feel in the abandonment. I thought, let, let, let's heal it because I'm not separate from him. As I wasn't separate from my family in Germany, the thing is my consciousness couldn't get to that point. Couldn't feel like we were forever united because it was a different time. Second World War, I was still, um, my consciousness was still not awakened. So I never felt like we were spiritually together. I felt the separation. I felt not not even I, i couldn't even say goodbye because they went to war and never returned and i still wait for them and at some stage i thought back in that life i thought maybe maybe they will come back sometime but in this life 2020 i'm ready to awaken my consciousness and all the knowledge that i have long time ago in Lemuria and Atlantis and I knew and even before that 
in the mermaid time when I knew that we were all, all linked together with no separation. I was here in planet Earth, living into the ocean, but still connected with Pleiade, with the stars and with my multidimensional being in Pleiade. So I was there and I was here at the same time. That's expansion of consciousness. I couldn't see the separation, not because rationally I understood, oh, there is no separation. This is not rational. Expansion of consciousness is not understanding some concept. Like when you go to school and then all of a sudden you understand geography and then you're like, okay, Second World War was from this year to this year. It's not like that. Expansion of consciousness is having an insight and all of a sudden you understand things. You don't have to learn to put to to drive the push bike every time you jump in. You learn it. Don't. Then you go there and you drive it. You are not thinking of how you move your feet. Right? It's the same when you're eating. You don't think of all the process the food does until it gets to your gut. No. You learn to eat when you were children, done. Then it goes and flows and you know exactly everything. You know if you're hungry, you know if you are tired, you understand your body. You have the consciousness. Prepare for that, to read those things. It's the same when your consciousness gets prepared to understand that this does that this, this. No one needs to come to explain it to you. Expansion of consciousness is one from one day to another you internalize that. No one has to explain anything for you. You know it, you know it. And the twin flame comes to awaken that feeling. The twin flame comes to show you that, ah, oh, I feel him here. I don't need anyone to come to explain to me about quantum physics, you know? And explain me how the energy moves, because I feel it. In the same way I feel Master Sananda when he comes to give me a message. I don't need to understand. I feel it. I know he's there. Oh, my body feels it. My heart feels it. So the twin flame journey, from my perspective, is a journey of awakening. Awakening, especially again, talking about incarnated angels, Lemurians. Hmm? Atlantean people, you have a big mission on earth. You need to learn about a multi your multidimensional being. So that's what's, what's happening. And if in the meanwhile, you have to be alone for a while, if in the meanwhile, you have another partner, you love the other partner and you have children with the other partner, it's okay. If you still feel the separation, means there is something more for you to, to learn. Mm -hmm. So I was told by my guys to write a book about twin flames. I'm not writing a book yet. I'm just making this video. First time ever I talk about twin flames journey in the video. Um, I think eventually I will get to write a book because my guys want it and they gave me a lot of information. Um, but uh, yeah, I will finish this video soon. Um, but try to see my advice for everyone is try to see the whole picture. Mm, we are bringing a new human kingdom to earth. And I hope we can be together with, with the person who um, made a commitment with us to be with us in this life or all the people that may done the commitment so at some stage could be the twin flame another stage could be another magical person that you will meet and you will have an amazing time together um but i reckon that um the meeting with the twin flame the three d meeting need to have a purpose and and when you meet with the twin flame, the meaning of that meeting is to create, create things. Because the sexual energy needs to be 
invested in creating. Mm -hmm. The sexual energy needs to be invested in creating. So think about it. Think about what are you here to create? Mm -hmm. And yeah, <laughs> it's not anymore for self-pleasure. Couples in this new human kingdom, especially with four incarnated angels and the star seeds, are not for giving yourself self pleasure pleasure through sex or eating ice cream or watching netflix conscious couples are not for that it, that, that that's actually good to have a really good time but the final meaning of the relationship needs to be to create something and make the time on earth worth so i'll leave it with this question for you if uh, you have any question uh, feel free to text me and I may make another video soon. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mwah.